another up close video for you today. So this one's kind of like um, two in one because I'm sure I already have two up close videos called sentiment strips and maybe more sentiment strips. Um, but there's even more sentiment strips now and I thought I can't really do another one just looking at the sentiment strips. So uh, these two should be on the same show on Creating Craft. So I'm putting them together and I, this will probably be up close look at the scribble frames. Um, so there are three sets of these gorgeous scribble frames. They are really, really lovely. They're so intricate as well, um, but they're gorgeous. You know that kind of like thread nest look that you can create with ribbon? Um, this sort of takes the hassle out of it for you because you can cut it from card and put it behind an element um, to give that kind of a look. So um, I don't know their real names. I just know they're called scribble frames, but mine are called one, two, and three. But I presume... Um, they'll probably be called circles, squares and hearts um, but yeah, they're, so there's three different sets they should come separately I think um, and I'm sure they'll be really reasonably priced because they're a smaller sort of die set as well um, the, uh, the square's probably the biggest and that one measures um, maybe three and three quarter inches or about nine and a half centimeters so um that is the biggest of them all so they're all they're, the longest dimension of all of them is that kind of a size so um they're perfect for a6 kind of size to cards or a2 but you can use more bigger cards as well so this is um like an a6 kind of background that i'd done a little while ago or if you had it on an a2 card that would be slightly shorter so they fit absolutely perfectly i can see myself using these a lot so um You've got the largest one fits wonderfully from all three of the designs, fits wonderfully on that kind of size of a card. But again, um, you can put more of these together or um, create your own patterns to create them for a larger card as well. So, um, and you, for each one you get, well the circles you get three circles, you get three squares, but with the heart you get... Um, a large square, a smaller square, and you get this gorgeous little flower, um, which is really lovely and delicate as well. And you kind of get bonuses, really, because when you cut these all inside each other, you actually get these really intricate or interesting um, wonky circle frames, which I really love as well. So this was just luck. And one of the cards I actually made, I was utilising these leftover pieces because I was just like, oh, they cut really nicely. And so obviously, because they sit inside each other, when you're cutting them, um, if you just wanted the largest circle, you could either have, um, imagine that was filled in in the centre, you'd have a wobbly circle sort of mat, or you can then use that piece of card to cut the next one and then use the inside of that to cut the next one. So they're quite... Um, um, economical with their card because you know you can cut all three of them within that sort of size square of cardstock again with the squares as well and I've also done a card using the waste from between the squares too and um, I didn't cut the hearts inside each other but the fall away from the heart is really gorgeous as well that um, it's sort of like a, a slightly wonky heart shape on the inside of both of them and it's actually the same shape as well they're basically a larger and smaller version of each other um, and I've also utilised that on a card as well. Um, yeah, so that is the scribble frames. It's a bit difficult for you to really see what they look like like this because it just looks like a big blob of metal with random cutting lines. But um, I've got a couple cut out here and then obviously you'll see them on the cards. That is the smallest circle. Um, and you can see there's parts where there's lots of separate lines where they cross over and give you slightly thicker areas which is perfect for adding your adhesive behind as well. Um, and all of these make really nice shaker cards too. I've used this one for a shaker card. And all you do is cut this out of your panel and then put your acetate behind it. And then you cut either you can either replace this intricate one onto the acetate or you can cut another one out of a different colour and place that onto the acetate. So you can get a really cool scribbly detail uh, frame around a shaker as well, which is lovely. Um, and then this is the... Um, square one. I mean look how fine the lines are on that. It's so fine. It's incredible. And they cut so well as well, like all of them one pass through the machine. If you try and cut the three inside each other at once, they don't cut as well. Um and it's difficult to try and cut them again. You know sometimes when something doesn't cut you can run it through again and then it will be fine. But with these, because they've got such fine lines, it's likely to move a bit and you'll get a double cut around it. So I definitely recommend if you want to save card and cut like all three out of the same piece of card to 
um, take the inner circle out of this one once you've cut this one and then use it to cut the next one from and same for the final one that's what I was doing and one one pass through the machine cuts them perfectly that way um, and as, the same with the squares and the hearts as well but I really love how intricate they look and um, you can either use them really detail intricate like this like I've been using them or um, if you want to you can even um, like paper piece the pieces back in with a different colour to give a sort of um, a more substantial frame I suppose because you're adding the um, pieces back in to make it look more of a solid frame uh, but you'd still have the scribbly detail so there's loads of different ways of using these and I'm certain you'll be seeing these popping up in um, lots of my like sped up video kind of style cards because I really love them and then sentiment strips uh, we have seven more so we first had seven then we had six more then we've had Christmas ones that I don't have but I think there was six Christmas ones and now we've got seven more again and again they're just just as good um, quality exactly the same font that they've been using so they all go together perfectly um, and we have seven new sentiments so we have um, I've used all of them on the cards that I'll show you as well we've got have faith we've got uh, dream big We've got Hugs and Kisses, which is really lovely. I love the ampersand in the middle. Congrats, which is perfect. Uh, well done. Sending love and On Your Day. And I've actually been snipping um, these up as well. Like you can snip off um, love off the end of sending and have sending hugs. Or you can have sending hugs and kisses. Um, you can do um, Congrats On Your Day. Um, what was the other one I had? I think I had On Your Day in the background and then I had Hugs and Kisses um, as the main vocal sentiment as well. So you can really mix and match them and I haven't actually been mixing and matching them with the previous sentiments but obviously you can do that as well. Um, I just, I've just i been doing so much recently I didn't want to get confused with which ones were the new ones and which ones were the older ones. So um, I was just sticking to the new ones for all these samples but they're exactly the same as all the ones that have come out previously. Same font, everything, same size. Um, like the same length and everything, same sort of widths of them, so they work absolutely perfectly together. So if you have any of them um, from the past releases of words, uh, you might find another couple that you want out of here that will extend the use of the other ones that you've already got. Um, so lots of different things that you can do with those as well. And um, I'll try and remember to link to you the other two videos that I've done looking at the sentiment strips as well, because I'm sure I go through a lot more ideas that you can um, do with them as well um, and quite a lot of my uh, sped up videos from maybe a year ago um, were using these a lot as well and I, I, I do kind of use them quite a lot anyway so um, yeah I'm sure there's hundreds of videos of mine using them too so um, I'll show you the samples first of me mainly focusing on the sentiment strips I did three mainly focusing on the sentiment strips so um, again I wanted to try and show you some different uses of how you can use them so this was the first one I did um, and I was just I just ink blended um, three colours I think that was Rubber Duck, um, Laguna Bay and Sliced Strawberry um, and I just blended them on with some of those um, makeup brushes that you can get off of Amazon these sort of ones um, and then I put the stencil over the top and blended back over with the same three colours to give that look and then, see I wanted to show how you don't have to use them as the full strip here. So the two I've used, I actually used um, Sending Love and Congrats as well. But instead of using the word Sending Love like that, I just snipped off after the word Sending and I snipped off the tail from before the word Sending as well. And then with the bubble, I cut the bubble out of vellum and then once I'd stuck the already snipped down word onto the vellum, I then just um, like emulated the sort of amount of bubble that goes around the rest of the word um, around the two pieces where I'd snipped off. And again with the congrats, just snipping off the tails from them and then um, curving the vellum bubble around where I'd snipped off the word as well. So that's how you do that and that is actually... Uh, two of them stacked up on top of each other and my top tip for when you're stacking them as well um, if you're cutting them down to create separate words and stuff if you snip the first one how you want it then stick this onto the second one that you haven't 
cut yet, obviously stick it on top of the second one you haven't cut yet, then you can use the cut lines you've already done to snip off the second one so you're getting them absolutely perfect to go on top of each other. Um, and for gluing these together I've been using um, just like Nouveau Deluxe glue in one of these like fine tip applicator bottles. Um, I just find them really good and I just dot on a few bits of glue um, all over the word and then I tap it off on the back of my hand to get the excess glue off of it. It just stops it from squeezing out the edges of the word then. Um, and again when you do it on the vellum you don't want too much glue squidging out as well. Then for this one... I used um, the On Your Day to create a whole background, so I cut On Your Day, I think it was five or six times out of white card, and then I just um, stuck them onto another piece of white card to create an overall background, and then I used some Lilac Waterfall and Violet Brocade um, Nouveau Shimmer Powders to create a sort of um, diffused background over the top of it. So adding the white on white kind of gives you that faux embossing folder look. It looks like you had an embossing folder that said on your day on it, but instead you're using your die cut. So um, if you didn't have the right plate for whatever machine you have to get an embossing folder to work, or you don't have any wordy embossing folders, you can still get that look with word dies as well. Then I did... Uh, the sentiment is that hugs and kisses. I really love that ampersand. It's really swirly in the middle of that word, or well, the two words. Um, and for this one, I used some embellishment mousse. Um, it's the pink one from Dreaming Colour. It's triple berry, that one. Um, and I just added that to some pink card, uh, and then die cut the word out of it, and then I used some of the... Um, I can't remember the name. Uh, I think it's called something Orchid. Um, the metallic pink one from the Dreaming Colour, the Nouveau Drops, um, to finish off that card as well. I'm sorry that the purple looks so muddy on the camera. It does look much nicer in real life. Um, so that is showing you how to create a background with them and then you can also create shaker cards with them. This was one of the first ideas I did when they first came out. Um, I did a very similar card to this actually with the same uh, shimmer powder background. Um, so there's I'm pretty sure there's a video on that of how I did it because I didn't actually film any of these because um, I was running out of time so it was quicker just to um, do the card and the prep at the same time rather than filming it. Um, but I think it was called, maybe I'd called it Always and Forever and it was using the Always sentiment strip. Again if I remember I will try and link that um, below the video in the video description as well. Um, but they're really easy to make into shaker cards. My one tip is make sure you put some kind of frame around it because then you can hide the foam tape. Because they've got the um, the bubble behind them and it's the bubble that you're using to make the shaker out of it, it's very difficult to try and partially cut so that like it didn't cut all the way through. So it ends up making your panel into three pieces if you cut two of them out of it. So um, adding on that frame helps you to get the pieces back in the right place but also um, helps you hide the uh, foam tape. You only really need skinny bits of foam tape just down these two sides, the rest you can use uh, wider bits of foam tape but um, just to hide where that foam is underneath there stopping the bits and pieces coming out of the shaker you do need some kind of frame around it and it also it just frames it really nicely and I tend to use the same colour to do the word um, and then it kind of looks like the words coming out of the frame as well. Um, and this one's got little butterflies and lots of microbeads inside as well. I just find microbeads really help a shaker card. They give it that sound, but they really help um, all of the sequins and confetti move around in there. And then, oh, this one I combined two of the words. So I did have faith um, and dream big. But then obviously I needed an and to go between them. And I could have used the and from Hugs and Kisses. But there's no way of getting a cute little bubble around that and. So this and is from the Will's Hand and set. So there's a set that has the actual word and and this little ampersand. So I used um, that one. And you can see the shaker stuff behind that as well. Because it has a little bubble. So I used the bubble and then I cut the ampersand out of the same card as the words in the frame. And for the background, um, that was just Lunar Rocket, uh, Lilac Waterfall and Violet Brocade um, shimmer powders, watering them down into like a, a watercolour paint and then just like using a paintbrush to do diagonal stripes and then splatting some of it on as well. And then I used some Indigo Eclipse Dream Drops as well as a few of those little um, butterflies that I'd used inside the shaker as well. So those are the three cards that I did 
focusing on the sentiment strips. Some of these other cards have got sentiment strips on them as well, but the scribble frames were the focus of those cards. So, uh, let me move them, put them there. So I've got five more cards uh, focusing on the scribble frames, one on each of the sets as well. So this first one focuses on the heart um, scribble frames. Um, I did a really messy background for this one, um, similar to that one I was just showing you, but for this one I actually used my um, Nouveau uh, glitter markers. So this one is the newest one, Fired Brick from the Merry and Bright collection, which is that dark red down there. And all I was doing was scribbling backwards and forwards with the different colours. I think this is Strawberry Bonbon. I don't know the name for this one. It's one of the original ones, um, the red colour. Um, and then this is the Fired Brick. And I just scribbled across the card diagonally with the three different colours and then took um, like a wide, uh, a wide water brush, like one of these Arteza ones, um, and added lots of water to blend out all the colour. So this was on white card, but the colours bled out of the stripes, but you still get the stripey effect. It looks a bit scribbly and messy, but I thought it went with the um, scribbly frames as well. And then to add a bit more to the background, I used that gorgeous little scribble flower uh, five times just to create a sort of scattering effect across the card. And this is what I was saying about creating a shaker card with them. So I die cut the large heart from this panel and um, and then I poked out all the pieces and stuck it back in on top of some acetate. So I added the acetate over the heart aperture and then stuck the intricate frame back on top of it. So you get the scribbly frame to your shaker but the pattern is continuous because you cut it out the same piece of card. Um, and then obviously I just added a load of um, like heart sequins and some red microbeads and stuff in there. And I also cut the... Um, smaller heart out of the same colour I'd use for the flowers just to give a little bit of extra interest behind there and they work so nicely inside each other and again um, I've used the sentiment uh, strips and here's again what I was saying um, you, instead of having it sending love I've got sending hugs and kisses or you could just have hugs if you wanted to you could um, cut off the word kisses and the ampersand and just have sending hugs so um, that's another idea on how to use um, or what? Well, that's the first one. That's the first idea on how to use the scribble frames. And again, this shaker um, would work with all of them, all of the different sizes. You could have smaller hearts. You could have three small hearts shaking on a card um, with recessing the scribble heart back in. Three small circles or squares, or the largest circle or square, and they fit perfectly on this kind of a size of card. This is. Um, bigger than an A2 card. The actual panel is more of an A2 card but I gave it a bigger white border so um, it's a bit bigger than an A2 card but that is um, one way of using them. Another way is to cut loads of the um, thin scribbly frames and use them to create an overall background and for this one I was going to stick them all down and then I was like hmm there's so many little fiddly intricate little bits um, of die cut there, I was like, mm, I don't really want to stick that many frames down having to put glue behind them. So I cheated and I took a piece of double sided adhesive sheet and I stuck them all onto that and then added glitter between like where all the rest of the sticky was. So I didn't have to add uh, little bits of glue behind all of them. But it's really easy to create this cool sort of layered uh, background look. The way I did it, I did a dry run first and I actually I took four different colours of card and I cut all three sizes out of all four colours. You can see I've used all three pinks, all three of that medium blue and all three of the dark blue and then I just put one purple one on there as well. And um, to make sure you get a nice um, design how you want it to be before you take the backing off the adhesive uh, place all of your um, squares down if I hold this up you can print screen that if you wanted to get the same layout um, that I've got but you can um, do a dry run lay all of them out and have a design that you really like then um, pick up which ones are on the topmost layer. So for example, this blue one goes over the top of this purple one and so does this pink one and so does that blue one. So you'd pick all, well, first of all, you take a photo of it once you've got your 
placement, but then you'd go, which ones are on the top? You'd take all of them off and then put them to one side and say, those ones were the top layer. Then you'd pick the next layer off, those ones were the next layer. That's how I did it. And so then, whichever one was left on the bottom, I think it was this pink one and this blue one were the last two, um, they are then the first ones you stick on, and the first lot you took off would be the last ones you stick on. So you'd get the same pattern that you had before. Um, because when you're using the double-sided adhesive sheets, especially with such a fine die cut, if you stick it in the wrong place you're not going to get it back up and you know it'll be evident where you took it up you know if you if you don't get it back in the same place and you would see that through the glitter um that you're adding over the top of it so just wanted to say that as well and then also with this one the sentiment strip i snipped um the end off of it so it just says well done and it stops rather than having the rest of the wiggly line um so you don't have to keep the wiggly line on them um, and I think these sentiment strips go really, really nicely with the scribble frames because they're that kind of doodly kind of a style as well. Um, but again, also on this one, um, because you've cut them all out of different colours, uh, if you had more patience than I do, you could, um, for example, take the lighter waist pieces and stick them back into the darker frame and vice versa and swapping the pink and purple over as well um like to make them more of a solid uh, square or rectangle rather than just being the scribbly they could look more of a solid with the scribble over the top um but that's just another way of doing it again and also that's much easier to do when you have the double-sided adhesive behind it and obviously you do that before you put the glitter on as well so that's another way of doing it then um Obviously circles made me thought of the sea and bubbles, so I had to do one bringing in that gorgeous Oceans of Love um, die from the Mermaid release from Tonic which came out in January this year. Um, and I used all three of the circle elements, and this is where I got all of these waste pieces from which I've used on another card. Um, and I just offset a um, silky sky blue one over the top of a white one just to give some extra scribble. So you've got the white scribble and the blue scribble. And then I used a full one of the sentiments in the largest circle. So you can see how nicely that goes inside the largest circle. And then I snipped another one of them up and put some in the other two um, circles as well. And I kind of... Uh, put them going up the card like a bubbly effect and then I added some Nouveau drops and some scribbles with white gel pen and stuff as well so oh and the background for this one I don't know if you can see some of the sparkle up here so to create that background I took this is the white um, easy clean mat that came with the Tim Holtz glass media mat and all you do is I took two colours of Aqua Flow, I think it was these two, True Turquoise and Empress Teal. I scribbled them onto that um, white sheet and then I also scribbled on some of this glitter marker, I think it's yeah, Athenian Blue. So I scribbled some of that on as well. Then I sprayed it with water and took my card and just splodged it in to get that kind of watery effect and then you get bits of sparkle where the sparkle pen was and stuff so that's how I did that background and then you get that cool kind of like watery look up here um yes yeah, so that was that easy really quick and easy background this card was really quick to make actually because you know it wasn't too much die cutting and again the blue card and the white card they're all cut from the same little square so it's pretty economical with the amount of card that you're using as well so that is the third proper sample using the scribble frames, but uh, once I'd finished them, um, I then had all my leftovers on my desk and I was like, oh wow, I could create some really cool stuff with these as well. So this one, uh, do you remember I said I cut all three of them out of the same colour of card? So obviously I cut them inside each other, so using the fallout from this one to cut the next size down. So when I did that, I had all these little frames left over, sort of wiggly um, lopsided kind of frame so I thought well why not put them on a card so I just uh, layered them up higgledy piggledy and then used a sentiment on them and this one is from one of the um, floral frames um, die sets from Tonic as well I really love the sentiments in those die sets um, and I just picked out one of the colours to shadow the sentiment so that the white one would show up and then I just I scuffed up the edges of the card with the um, Tim Holtz paper distresser and I also used a um, tracing wheel, like a sewing tracing wheel to give this sort of dotty effect around the edge 
and I just added a few white Nouveau drops and that is just created from the waste of um, that other card. So literally just cutting a sentiment out to add to it and you've got a whole nother card um, just from the waste elements. And again, from the waste elements, the inside of this heart and this heart, look how beautiful of a shape they are. I really love the shape of them and I I had the um, the scraps left over from the bubble card and these scraps and I just left them on my desk and I was like oh that looks really nice and they literally fell something like this with the three or four circles and then the two hearts and I was like oh that looks really nice so um, again I just created that into a card I added a bit of um, ink blending with that sliced strawberry ink pad into the background um, I splashed on some of the same um, Nuva glitter marker I'd used to create this scribbly background and then I just layered all of that on top of each other and then I added some little doodling with a pink gel pen and a white gel pen and another one of those sentiments from the floral frames die sets again shadowed with some uh, red card and then I used some love potion dream drops to finish it off and I really love how that one turned out as well so um think about the waste from these two I mean I was going to cut this second heart I was going to cut it out of that and then I was like no I really love that heart the way it is so I decided to cut it out of red card and then in doing that I had these two hearts left so um, you've instantly got another card so from all of those three cards I was aiming to make three cards and I ended up with five cards because the waste from these two made that one and the waste from that one made this one so um I hope you enjoyed those um, samples and some like ideas on how to use the scribble frames and also how to different ways of how to use the sentiment strip dies um, as well. Um, I didn't film any of these cards again because I was um, I had quite a lot to do and I didn't want to get um, confused with filming and stuff. Um, so I didn't actually film any of these, but I'm sure you will be seeing them. Um, in upcoming videos as well but I just wanted to um, put this video together whilst I had everything um, and I, I I think a lot of you do enjoy these up close videos because I, I find sometimes as well it's nice to um, see die sets up close and if, if I throw in some inspiration at the end as well you know it instantly uh, makes you think oh yeah I've got that die set I could do that with that or I could mix in this other sentiment that I've got and mix it in with that and it'll bring a new lease of life to something I already have so um, I, I really do hope you enjoy them because I, I do quite enjoy making them and I might as well do it whilst I have all of the samples here so yeah uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video bye